This human life is so very, very rare. Why should we waste it? Seeking the same things that are available to the lower species, the fish, the insects, the birds, the reptiles, and the animals. Some physical experiences of pleasure and some mental satisfaction. All of those goals that people are trying to achieve, Govinda Das says, they are all just like a drop of water on a lotus leaf. They are here today and tomorrow. They are gone. Therefore, my dear mind, please engage in your natural propensity. To worship the Supreme Lord. The nature of the soul, the consciousness, is it's looking for unending, unlimited pleasure. But when it looks for it in the dying, temporary objects of the world. It is disappointed. When you find some semblance of that pleasure of love, even a drop of of a hint of that pleasure, you become practically uncontrollably attached to that object. But then, when it fall, drops away like the water on the lotus leaf, such great suffering, such great anxieties. Then, how do people deal with these anxieties in this world? The extreme frustration comes out in suicide, madness, atrocities, cruelties. Of these people who are serial murderers, it's not that they're from. Really, really poor families. They're simply frustrated. In Washington D.C. now, there's somebody just shooting people dead. He doesn't even know who they are. He's just so frustrated. This is how he gets his pleasure, knowing that he has the power of control over people's lives. That simply extreme expressions of frustration for power and for control. So how, how to deal with that? If you can control your mind, your mind becomes your best friend. If you cannot control your mind, your mind becomes your greatest enemy. Why? Because it is an instrument of ignorance. It is an instrument of lust. It is the residence of your greatest enemy.